Hey y'all, it's Monday. No room tour today. It's been a bit crazy. Everything's kind of a mess and I want you to see us at our best in the stove room of the villa. And so today we're just kind of doing a weekend update and there was a lot that happened so efficiency is the name of the game. Uh, we started on Saturday with our Florence walk and we were um, all over the city, literally walked up hills and stairs and I thought my feet were going to fall off, but we made it and we saw some really beautiful things and I was so excited to be in Florence. It was really rainy that day and so I'm excited to do a lot of the things that we did again once it's not rainy. <laughs> but um, Sunday we also went into Florence for church and we stayed and did a little bit of extra. So I just kind of have a recap of all of that. Starting with some popcorn clips of the Florence Walk. We were in a market and looking over the city from an overlook that we had to walk up and up and up to, but it was great. It was so worth it. And there are differences, <laughs> even though they try to stay with the same type of decoration. The Sari Corridor! Over to the Uffizi! Okay, funny graffiti picture of the day right here. I, I laughed so hard. I stopped. Like, no one else saw it except me. I stopped, had to take a picture, and almost ran into some people, but this was so fantastic. And you can pretty much see why. I will definitely be on the lookout for more meme graffiti. Best thing of my life. <laughs> um, so our stats stand at three Merces. There was one that we saw on a piazza in Florence. Uh, I think it was Adidas. I didn't know they made those, but all right. Also, our assistant director, Kyle, carries a Merce. So that probably should count as more than one sighting because he takes it with us everywhere, but I'm just going to count it as one for propriety's sake. Group pictures stand at five. I think I'll stop updating you on that once I win my bet because it'll be soon. <laughs> and there'll be one less thing to try to fit into these without being over ten minutes. Um, Alright, so now to the cool experiences of the weekend. Cool experience number one was singing in Italian at church. We went to a Church of Christ in Florence and we had a potluck afterwards and got like adopted by the members who took pictures with us and we all ate together and there was one guy we met named Marion and he was super interesting to talk to and it was just, it was a really great church experience and also to see how different worshipping is in Florence and in, in Europe period and um, I really thought singing in Italian was easier than actually trying to like see on a sign to speak it because you have the rhythm like spelled out for you in the musical notes which is a language that I do know already so that was handy a uh, second cool experience also music related was we went to a concert Sunday night it was a trio violin viola and cello cellos are cool by the way like they should have more pieces where the cello gets the solo because it was always the violin and, you know eh, I'm the violinist and Whatever, the cello was cool, but he was really awkward. He was like taller than everyone else, and the two other guys looked like super European, and he just looked younger, and just kind of, like his suit didn't quite fit him right, and he was always like a beat late on the flourishes and bowing at the end, and he was just really funny. I enjoyed that very much. The theater we were at was gorgeous, and I hope we can go back for some other kind of performance to go into the main theater, because we were in a side smaller one for that uh, concert. Now for our philosophical break. Um, I've been thinking a lot about time, timey-wimey stuff, and how it's strange, and how we, we designate it, and we, like, force our bodies to conform to a structure that we don't even really think about until it changes. And I've read different things about, you know, ways to minimize jet lag, and I've had less jet lag and more jet lag depending on the caffeine in my body at the moment, but um, 
it's interesting to me how your body reacts to being pulled out of one place and put in another. I don't know, I guess I've just been thinking a lot about it lately since it's affected me physically and I've been trying to figure out how to adjust the best way. Uh, today in class, Robbie read a quote that I thought was really appropriate. Uh, it was, time is something for us, not for God. And you could take that a lot of ways, and God created time because he created everything. But he is above and around time as well. <laughs> Maybe we should just go back to the doctor's definition and call it good. I don't know. I'm sorry that these are behind. It takes about eight hours to upload one from here, and I can't, like, sync everyone else's internet at the same time. So I'll do what I can. I'm filming as I go, and the uploads are just coming later. Uh, I miss you guys, but I'm having a blast, and it's just been crazy and awesome so far. See you later!